Hey, what's up, my friends? This is Natural Soul Man with another review here on another Tuesday. And guys, in this episode, I'm actually going to be covering another soul by Bearsville. And this time, I'm going to be actually reviewing the Fresh Cut Pine, which is actually a shampoo bar. So it's a little bit different than a normal body bar. But either way, we're going to get right into it in this review coming up. So let's get into it. <music> In this review, we're actually going to move right into taking a closer look at the soap itself. That's just because in the previous episode, we actually zoomed in on the box. So if you're curious what the box looks like, I'll leave a box up here, man. You can click on that and you can go check out that video. And that video actually cover the orange experiment. So if you want to see what the box looks like up close and personal, click on the box. But either way, let's move right on to the review. Okay, and there you have it. This is the Fresh Cut Pine by Bearsville. And immediately, as you can tell, man, it, it's another very pretty soap by Bearsville, man. Uh, I have to say, this one actually literally looks like they would have took a chunk of marble uh, and would have cut a piece of marble. It is very, very nice. It just has a very eloquent, nice, beautiful little design. Very pretty bar. So far, the last um, the orange experiment in this one, they just have they just have very eloquent, very nice looking designs. For sure. All right, guys, now that we looked at the soap itself, we got a little good close up and personal with it. Let's move on. Let's put on some ingredients on the screen, guys. And as you can tell, despite it being a shampoo bar, which typically do have more ingredients uh, in them than your standard body bar, there's still not that many ingredients, which I thought was pretty impressive. Uh, I was expecting to see a lot more, but despite the fact that there's not that many, it's definitely encouraging. It's pretty cool. Uh, not saying that more is bad in any sense if they're all good ingredients. But I, as always, prefer when the list of ingredients is a little bit on the shorter side. Now, you do notice you have your oils, you have your shea butter, you know, things like that. Uh, it does have some natural fragrance oils in there as well. Uh, they also have bark extract. <laughs> you got that too. Obviously, you need that right um but overall i think the ingredients are good they're fine no red no uh, red flags excuse me things like that all natural so we're good on that end um, this bar does come at a approximately five ounces now this is a shampoo bar so the duration is probably going to be a little different because you're not going to wash your hair every single day or at least you shouldn't be it's not advised to do that you should probably so in theory this soap or the shampoo bar should last you longer than uh, your typical body bar just because you're not using as much and you're only washing your hair, right? At least in theory you are. So it's less area you gotta cover. So if you're using less lather, you're using it less frequency, you should be using this soap um, less often and for a longer duration. So the soap does come in at 1045, 1030. A little bit is no a little bit north of ten dollars, whatever. So is it good value? Yeah, when you when you look at it from that perspective, now if you're using it every day and you're washing your body with it and things like that, because you typically you technically can. Um, maybe not so much. I would probably say it's not worth ten bucks. But I digress. We'll get into that later on in the video. All right, guys. Now that we saw the soap, we got a little close and personal with it. Let's move on to the next part of the video where we do our sniff test, where I always try my best to describe the soap uh, as best I possibly can. All right, guys. Now that we're doing the sniff test, let me go ahead and talk about how this bad boy smells, and uh, let's get right into it. First and foremost, uh, a lot of you who watch my videos are Dr. Squatch guys or squatchers, you know, or, how, or at least familiar with them. So I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, right away, this smells literally almost identical to Dr. Squash's pine tar. There's a couple of nuances, it's not one for one, but man, it is pretty darn close. <laughs> it smells almost just like Dr. Squash's pine tar. Um, so, there's your reference point. It literally smells almost exactly like that. So that's really great news if you love Dr. Squash's Pine Tar. And if you're looking in the Bearsville to try something else, or if you want to get creative and you're looking for some uh, shampoo bar, you know, something to put in your hair and you want some matching fragrances, 
You can do that. Get some from Bearsville and have pine tar from squash and kind of combine them and now you smell like a big old pine tree. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the squash will never see you coming. <laughs> you know, we like that. Uh, but no, I think it smells good. I mean, I love pine tar. I love the dark squash pine tar. So I, I really, I obviously really, really, really like this. I just, just smells just like that. So, but there's really nothing else to add here, guys. It smells just like that. And if you don't know what that smells like, Smells like a pine tree, man. <laughs> Smells like pine tar. Um, get you a bar. You gonna see. It, it's, uh, yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> but, all right guys, now that we did the snap test and hopefully it gives you a better idea, a good reference point on the soap and what it smells like, let's move on to the lather test where we're gonna check it out and uh, we'll get back here and do some concluding thoughts, so. Fantastic guys, now that we saw the lather test, we quickly determined that it has a very nice lather. Not surprising, but it's always good to see. Now, we, we, we know what it looks like, we know what the box looks like, we, we know all that. The soap itself looks really cool. Like I said, it looks like a, like a little slice of a marble, man. It looks cool, it looks really, really cool. Uh, ingredients on point, all natural, no complaints there. Um, the smell, it literally, Pretty much smells just like Dr. Squash's pine tar. Pretty much, not exactly. <laughs> if you put, if you held them both, you can tell there's some slight differences. Man, they're pretty darn close. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty spot on there. So, but, but I mean, that's not, that doesn't mean, that's not a bad thing, right? I mean, it smells terrific. If you like pine tar, then you're sure as hell gonna like this one. And considering the fact that it's a shampoo bar, that could be a little, that could be possibly an ideal for you. You know, uh, you can get this a shampoo bar, match it up with the pine tar, squatchy, and bam, you know, you got some good going, you know, you got some working. You know, you smell like a big old pine tree. It might smell like the squatch himself, right? Who knows? Half squatch, half bear. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Bar comes out of five ounces. It's about 1050, 1045-ish. Uh, so not bad for a shampoo bar when you consider that you're not gonna use it every day, you can use it on your hair. So theoretically it should last you much longer than a, a standard uh, cleansing bar. Uh, so when you consider that, the value is pretty much on point, especially when you start comparing it to other like natural shampoos, like, you know, like my squatches, it comes at $14 for a bottle. You know, that's really not that big. You know, uh, or, or, or dude, I mean, that's I, and even that's not that bad. When you start really considering like, compared to like a lot of those other like overly priced, premium natural shampoo conditioners from those crazy brands you can't pronounce. There's like, what, like uh, 30 bucks a bottle, some stuff like that. I was like, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's really not that bad. Now let's get to the important part where, how it did it do. First and foremost, in my hair, uh, as a shampoo, it did fine. It, uh, I thought it did actually really well. I, no complaints, um, you know. Um, uh, again, you know, um, I've only used, this is the second shampoo bar I've ever used. It's kind of like a similar thing with the Mountain Time uh, shampoo bar. It's like, it didn't do anything special or anything that, you know, blew my mind or anything, which is a great thing, you know, because I'm really looking for a negative thing. Because I already use natural shampoos and conditioners. 
um, in that sense. So it's not like I was, I'm not, I'm not using Suave, whatever the hell that brand's called. My, my gripe though with it is that they don't have a conditioner bar. I hate when companies do that. I don't want just a shampoo bar. I'm, I can't do that with my hair. You know, I can't. You know, if I only use a shampoo bar, it will dry me out and my hair is going to get frizzy and it'll look like I put my hand in a wall socket. I can't do that. I need a conditioner bar. You know, I, I just do. My hair is going to look flipping stupid. It does. Every time since I was a kid, you know, that's just the way my hair is. It will not, just won't do right if I just only use shampoo. I don't know what it is. I get it's a natural shampoo, but dude, I, I need, I need the conditioner, bro. You're leaving me hanging. I will not, I can't, I will not recommend shampoo without the conditioner. Now, some of you might not even use conditioner, that's fine. Uh, so if you like shampoo, you like the smell of pine tar, you like pine, you like all that kind of smells, woodsies, things like that, this is, this is all for you, bro, this is it. But if you're like me, man, if you use conditioner, I can't recommend this to you because there's nothing to compliment it. You got what you got. I mean, unless you don't mind going use a, uh, another company for your conditioner, but then why wouldn't you just get your shampoo from there, right? No, that's dumb. That makes no sense. That's just stupid to me. I, I'll never understand that. Bearsville, get the flipping uh, conditioner bar to go with your uh, shampoo bars. It's not that complicated, dude. Just do some about that, please. But uh, now in terms of, I, I did use them about it because I was just curious. Uh, I like to see how that goes because I think it's a pretty cool idea if you could, if you could just use the shampoo bar as a body bar, then you theoretically save yourself money, right? Cause you can go both ways. Uh, pause on that. It didn't do too well on my skin. Um, and actually I, I noticed it actually dry, like left my skin feeling dry. It didn't really have that nice moisturizing effect that I was looking for. Um, so I think it did better as a shampoo than actually as a body bar. So I recommend it's a, I, I recommend it's a shampoo bar. I don't recommend it's a body bar. Now my skin was smooth out there. It wasn't terrible or anything like that, but I did notice that my skin was a little on the dry side uh, and didn't have that like nice moisturizing effect. So keep that in mind. Um, now granted it is a shampoo bar, so I guess it is intended to be used in your hair. So that's fair enough, but I just thought that's something you might want to know and some you know, you can put that, uh, excuse me, potentially can uh, uh, weigh in on your option whether you purchase it or not. So, so it's something for you to think about. So ultimately, do I recommend the fresh cut pine? No, I don't. I don't actually. Um, despite the fact that I really like the way it smells, I was not impressed the way it left my skin feeling. Um, though it did work well as a shampoo bar, but the fact that I have no conditioner bar, that's incredibly annoying. You know, and I think there's other options out there that do just as good. Um, and I think there are better options actually um, for the same price, actually. So I don't recommend it, you know, uh, unless you really like pine tar and you don't mind using a third party, you know, uh, or a third a different company for your conditioner or whatever. And you just really want like compliment your uh, pine tar from Squatch. That kind of idea I was rolling with. If you're looking for something like that, yeah, go for it. You know, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your money, dude. I, I just, I'm just looking at it logically. I just don't really see the sense of it because most people do condition their hair, from my understanding. Now, if you don't, then yeah, I do recommend it because by itself is fine as a shampoo bar, you know. But you got to kind of think of it a little bit bigger, a little bit more than just that because that's just not how people buy these products. Right? Does that make sense? I'm, I'm sorry. I just kind of have to pull back on that a little bit and say, ultimately, you have other options. Buy if you really are curious and you really want to check it out. And if you don't mind, other than that, I just say pass. There's other options. So, but guys, that's my review. Hopefully, you got something out of it. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the video. And um, but uh, and if you did, leave a like, share with your friends and family, and as always, follow me on Instagram. I'm always post this up there too. So with that being said though, guys, this is Natural Soap Man, and I'll see you next Tuesday with another review. Until then, you guys take care and bye.